Today I'm going to be showing you several of the best exercises that you can use to address your upper cross syndrome. What's going on everybody? It's Blake Bowman here with Gorilla Zen Fitness and today I'm going to be talking about something called upper cross syndrome. I'm going to tell you what it is and then I'm going to tell you how to fix it. So essentially upper cross syndrome is a pattern of muscular imbalances and postural distortions present in the upper torso, the neck, and the shoulders. This is very commonly developed by people that work 9 to 5 jobs, sit a lot, and are chronically stressed. Now this is called upper cross syndrome because um, the muscular imbalances present form a cross or an X. Okay, So the first cross or the first X runs like this. Okay. Um, so, and basically what this, I, I'm not doing a good job of doing this, my arm should be like way over here, but basically it's, it means that the, the uh, upper traps are overactive and tight and so are the pecs, okay, the pec major and the pec minor. And when this becomes tight and this becomes tight, this happens, okay, pecs pull the shoulders forward, uh, traps elevate the shoulders. So when you're tight here and you're tight here, you elevate and rotate forward like that. So the second line to form the cross in this upper cross syndrome um, runs, so the first one ran like this, the second one runs like this. And this one kind of speaks to the um, uh, more of a pattern of weakness and underactivity, okay? So the first one was like this, and it was speaking to the upper trap tightness and the, and the pec tightness, which causes this. Th this other line that forms the cross speaks to weakness in the deep cervical flexors, which are the muscles that push the head back and also weakness in the lower traps and rhomboids which retract the scapula and depress them down. So basically if you're weak right here and you're weak in the lower traps and the um, rhomboids in conjunction with having tightness in the upper traps and tightness in the pecs, this happens. Okay, And this is exactly what upper cross syndrome is. Elevated shoulders that are rounded forward and, uh, and forward head posture. So if you've been watching my channel for a while, these are all um, muscular imbalances and postural distortions that I've addressed in my videos in isolation, like forward head posture, rounded shoulders. I haven't really made a video on how to address all of these things at once um, with somebody that has upper cross syndrome, um, so that's what I'm gonna do today. By the way, I hope that crossing stuff made sense to you. If it didn't, just remember that if you have upper cross syndrome, you're tight in the upper traps, you're tight in the pecs, you're weak in the lower traps and rhomboids in here, and you're also weak in the front of your neck here. Basically, the way we go about fixing this is to release and inhibit or shut down the neural drive to those tight overactive muscles, the pecs and the upper traps, and then do targeted strengthening exercises for those underactive muscles, um, the rhomboids, lower traps, and the deep cervical flexors. I'm gonna kick this off by showing you how to release. So starting with the pecs, I already made a video on how to release the pecs where I go over a lot of comprehensive stretching and release techniques for the pecs. If you haven't seen that yet, check it out over here or in the description down below because I'm not gonna to go too much into how to release the pecs right now, but a really simple way you can do it is to get a lacrosse ball, softball, or something like this. This is like a massage ball called a supernova. Put it on the ground, get your chest, put it right on top of this thing, put your arm behind your back, and just smash into those pecs like this. I'd recommend doing this for about two minutes on each pec if you have upper cross syndrome, okay? So there you go, I'm not gonna go too deep into that. Like I said, you can watch that video if you're learning, if you wanna know how to release it um, more with some static stretches and things like that. So that takes care of the first, um, you know, first muscle on that first cross running this way, okay? the pecs, now we gotta address these upper traps up here. So my favorite way to release the upper traps, sorry, <laughs> is to use this. This is called a theracane. Basically, to release the upper traps of this thing, put it right in the upper traps, pry down on the upper traps, hold for about 20 seconds here, then move a little bit down further down the muscle. This is a good way to do it. If you don't have a Theracane, by the way, you can pick these up on my website, but if you don't have one of these, then you can also do it with two lacrosse balls, okay? Um, basically, how you do this is you put the two lacrosse balls down, you put these, uh, actually, you put the lacrosse balls on your upper traps, lay back so that the balls are digging into your upper traps, then you're gonna lift the hips up a little bit, flex the shoulders overhead like this. 
Okay, this is gonna really feel uncomfortable for, you, for a lot of you, but that's because you have upper cross syndrome if you search this video and that's how you found it. Um, and those muscles are really, really tight. So kind of move the balls around a little bit, try to find different areas of tightness on the upper traps. But for that exercise too, I would recommend sticking in there for about two minutes to three minutes, um, just constantly pumping the arms overhead into flexion with the hips up like that. That's really gonna make a big difference for a lot of you. Now I'm gonna show you the strengthening exercises. So the first strengthening exercise we're gonna do to address that, that other cross that runs like this, okay, which kind of speaks to the weakness in the deep cervical flexors, which run on either side of your Adam's apple parallel, okay? Um, this is forward head posture. This is, how you, this is basically how you fix this. You lay in your back. You can do this as an exercise. I recommend doing this for about four sets of 30 seconds daily until your head is back on straight. But basically what you do is you tilt your chin down to your, to your uh, chest here like that, keeping your back flat on the ground. Bring the chin to the chest like you're trying to give yourself double chins. And then you push straight into the ground like that, okay? Like I said, like you're trying to give yourself double chins. And you hold that for 30 seconds. What that will do is it will strengthen those deep cervical flexors, which are gonna be weak in you, and it'll push your head back and basically allow your head to rest more on top of your spine where it's supposed to be. So for this last exercise to strengthen the lower traps, again, I've made a video on this. You might wanna check it out over here in the description down below. It's a little bit more comprehensive than what I'll show you today um, on strengthening the lower traps, but you get the idea. Um, but this is my favorite exercise for it. I call it a modified prone cobra or W pose. People have different names for all of these things. The name doesn't really matter. It's what you're doing that really matters. But basically, for this exercise, you lay down on your stomach, you make like a, W with your with your hands, okay, like this, okay. Then you extend the thoracic spine by lifting up like this, trying to pull the shoulder blades together and down your back while you're maintaining thumbs up like this, okay. That's basically it. That's a really good activation, strengthening exercise for lower traps and rhomboids. Um, for that, I would recommend holding it for four to five sets of 30 seconds. If you're interested in lower cross syndrome, um, then check out my video on an anterior pelvic tilt, how to fix an anterior pelvic tilt. I'll, I'll include a link here or, or in the description down below. But basically in that video, I address the exact same muscle imbalances that are present in lower cross syndrome that just so happen to cause an anterior pelvic tilt. So if you're somebody that's looking for information about a uh, uh, lower cross syndrome, then check out that video. Also, if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do that. Don't forget to like, comment, and share down below. Also, if you haven't visited my Facebook page and my Instagram, I would greatly appreciate a like and a follow on both of those platforms. I'll include links in the description down below. On a concluding note, if you haven't downloaded Posture, the Ultimate Life Hack, which is my free ebook all about posture and corrective exercises that you can do to fix it, then go ahead and do that. It's in the description down below under Posture, the Ultimate Life Hack. In that book, I show you all of the most common postural distortions, a lot of like what I talked about in this video. Um, and I show you a lot of corrective exercises, release work and strengthening stuff that you can do to actually fix your posture. Other than that, I'll see you next time.